Hi, uh, this uh, 320 excavator. Uh, I'm going to tell you where to install the back hole and then the socket uh, also. And then in this video, I want to show you that the place under the diesel tank. This place is a uh, have covered by the plate. To protect the diesel tank and also there is a small hole like a grill under the diesel tank that's ho that hole is uh, the place where the back horn blowing the sound it's a small grill so now I am uh, handily handily and I'm putting the socket where to install or attach the back horn of the to install the back horn so this back horn is under the diesel tank and then covered by the plate okay so that's the place see this is the diesel tank So now I am preparing to install the back horn to attach and uh, plug to the socket. Now, now the back horn is ready. It's ready to start. Okay, now I already installed the back horn. So that's the back horn. Is ready. I only need to keep it down and plug the back horn. Now I'm going to show you the through the monitor how to install through software. Yeah, I'm, I am the case. So this is the model, okay, 320D and excavator. So I'm going to the operator's cab to sit and uh, open the monitor so now I'm prepared to switch this on to show you how to set up through monitor and then some switch on so I switch it on now uh, some switch that can uh, go back and up and down screw the system so now it's already switch it on so I'm going to press the main menu. This is the service menu. Okay, the service menu. And then scroll up to service. Okay, okay. Service. And then the password is password app. Password is. So you scroll left. Press it on. Okay, yeah. Press OK. Parts and stores. Okay, in this place you can see the travel alarm. Okay, just press OK. Select the device. How you will uh, install the first installation. It is, if it is okay. installed or not. Now it's showing not installed, not meaning install. to say even you push the pull one of the press OK. You cannot uh, okay. hear the sound of the button. And then scroll down. So I scroll up, uh, press OK, and scroll down, and then. Install and then okay. Now it's all installed. So, this part I have to go back. Press back to make it sure that the, on the system or the controller is already accepted the installation. Yes. So, this the device. Uh, over, over, uh, 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 over, uh
as you can switch on manually press ok press is ok and then on ok you can hear the button is if uh, the buffer is okay, we okay. hear the sound of the Again, buffer. Again, I have to cancel it because this function is for just if you want to test it. Okay. This okay. uh, scroll down. It is just to show you how to activate the buffer. Now, the time of the buffer is activated. Oh, excavator. Same system. system. It's only one place there where they install the backup alarm or lock horn. So, this video is just to show. So, I'm going to start the machine, so I'm going to try it. Maybe yes. you see it again and how the backup horn is working. So, now, so I'm going to drop the video and say stop. Uh, now this is ready for testing, actual testing. That's the exact uh, procedure. If you have a ah. green machine, or sometimes also some old machines noise. You don't have any installed uh, backup board. So in this process, I'll show you the tutorial how to install backup boards. It's the play, it's place. And how to open to the monitor or to the computer to install to make it functioning the backup board. I hope you enjoyed this see this uh, tutorial video how to install the backup board in any of the caterpillar excavator. and please help us to subscribe my channel subscribe my channel and like and uh, send any comment I'm happy to see or, uh, to respond thanks